Hey, it's Daniel. I've been getting a few questions on this picture that I did for D. Stein and how I made it look like there was way more money than there actually was. It's simple manipulation technique, and I'm going to show you how I did it today. One, you'll need a tripod. You also need a uh, camera, but you know, anything that you choose. And you'll also need editing software. I was using Photoshop CC. First step, you want to set the camera up on the tripod. Take pictures of the money, move it all around each time you take the photo. Don't move the camera though you have a problem and once you have all the photos that you have bring them into Photoshop okay and I brought everything into Photoshop brought all the pictures in I had about six of them or seven one of those and I already masked out everything so I'm just gonna bring them back up to show you how it looks but once you bring the pictures in all you have to do is just mask in where the money is. And pretty much that's it. It's, you know, it's not that hard of a technique. If you are a little computer savvy, you'll be able to figure it out. Um, I could have put more money in more places. I mean, you can do whatever. You can actually, you can duplicate anything that's movable in the scene. Just, uh. Be careful of shadows, and that's how it looks without the background photo. And it's not even like it's a horrible masking job I did, but it's just to show you is it doesn't. It's not that difficult of a thing to do, and the result of it is really cool. So, you know, uh, that's it, pretty much. Uh, I've done it with. You know, duplicating people and other objects and photos. And I think it's just a really cool thing to know how to do it. And, you know, I think he used it for like a, a um, Instagram post or something. But, I mean, you can use it for anything that you like to use it for. Um, thank you for watching. Hit like, subscribe, share. Stay tuned. Thank you again.